kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video series on Android app de development and so guys in this video series I will be teaching you on how to use the camera to API in your Android applications Alright guys uh, since the camera to API is a bit difficult to understand and also I have I had uploaded the two parts of this camera to API series and I am sorry that I could not complete them but uh, now I decided to make uh, a complete new live uh, camera to API series and I hope that uh, now you will understand it quite well alright so this will be the part one of my video series and I in this as you can see that I have created the project so here inside my Android studio so first of all uh, what I want to do is uh, we will go to our Android manifest and here we will have a couple of uh, permission for our app so first of all uh, let's go to uh, Android manifest file and inside here let's specify the user permission of uh, camera and then here we will have the right external storage permission and then we will have the camera to uh, okay for that we can say use this feature and it will be name and it will be equal to android dot hardware dot camera to dot full all right so those were the user permissions uh, for our applications uh, now that we are in uh, as we, you can see we have the main activity so first of all we want to design the xml of our um, main activity so there we will have a texture view and a button to capture the image so what we are going to do is since here we have the relative layout so here we will have the texture view and it will be match parent then uh, the height will be wrap content then it will be parent top and the parent top will align parent top will be true then we will have a button for the image capture so it will be wrap content and it, its height will also be wrapped content then we can say center horizontal and it will be marked true then we can say align parent bottom and it will also be true then we will have the margin bottom and it will be the margin bottom will be almost 15 dp then we will have the margin top as 10 dp then we can specify the text as take picture all right then we will what we can have is okay so here inside our texture view we can specify the above so we can say above id let's specify the id for our button so it will be button capture and let's set the id to button capture all right so that is our xml layout having the texture view so we will use this uh, texture view using the surface uh, and we will try to uh, preview the camera inside this texture view so first of all we need to have the button here so we can say button and also we will have the texture view then we will have the sparse array okay so we need some orientation for our camera so let's say we have let's say we have private static final and it will be sparse int array and it will be or we can 
name it as orientation and it will be equal orientation equal to uh, equal to new sparse int array all right so we will have the sparse here and then we can specify the static and here inside that we can add them so here we can say orientation dot append and for this we can use the surface so we can say surface dot rotation zero and it will be the value will be 90 degree then we will have orientation dot append then we will have uh, surface rotation 90 and it will be 0 degrees then we will have the orientations dot append and it will be surface dot rotation 180 and it will be 180 degrees or sorry we have this as 270 yes we have the 270 degrees and also we can say dot append and it will be surface dot rotation 270 and it will be equal to 180 degrees all right then we will have a couple of other uh, uh, class objects since so first of all we will have the camera id okay so first of all we can say private string camera id then we will have uh, camera device we will be requiring camera device and then we can name it as camera device then we will be requiring uh, a capture image i mean the, the camera capture the session for maintaining the camera session so for that we can have camera capture session and it will be camera capture session then we will have a camera request or i think we don't need to request for okay so here we will have the camera request or capture request sorry the then we can name it as capture request then we have the cap uh, the capture request builder so we can say capture request dot builder and we name it as capture request builder and then we will have uh, another thing which is private size and make sure that it is uh, android dot util all right and what we can uh, name it so we can name it as image dimensions okay so we need to fetch the image dimensions and uh, save the image with the uh, actual dimensions okay then here we uh, since here we have the image reader we need so we can say private image uh, reader image reader and finally we have uh, we need we will be using the file uh, okay for uh, saving the file inside our internal storage then here we will have a uh, handler and we can say handler make sure that you select this android.os handler all right then we can say m background handler all right and then we will we will be requiring the handler thread and we can have m background thread all right these were the uh, these were the objects which we will be requiring in our whole project series all right so here we will now have this uh, yes let's say we uh, let's bind the views first of all so since we have this the texture view so we can say texture view find view by id r dot id dot 
texture view i think i forgot to uh, set the id for our texture view so here we can have the id as texture okay and let's just uh, copy that and paste it here inside our uh, texture view then we can say that a search uh, texture view is not equal to null i think it is uh, not required but i use it okay and after this we need to set this uh, uh, set the surface texture listener so for that uh, we can say texture view dot set surface texture listener and inside this we will pass our uh, texture listener okay we will create this uh, later so here we can have uh, the button as well so we can say button equal to button find you by id r dot id dot button capture and then we will have the uh, we will have to have uh, the set on click listener for our button so for this we can say button dot set on click listener new on click listener and in here we will uh, write the write the method to take the picture all right then we will create this method here inside our main activity and i think guys that it is enough for this video i will continue in my next part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye